Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out directly to tmasso at thewatchbox.com. New for 2022, an 88-piece limited edition in grade 5 titanium. This is the Grubel 4C Balancier Sport Two, also known as the Convex. It is a watch that builds on the Balancier Sport, but with more loom, a more elaborate dial, and a new series edition. So the watch measures 43.5 millimeters across in grade 5 titanium, and that's both case and movement because both are made of titanium. The watch is relatively short from bezel to bezel because you can see it's almost a lugless watch. The bezel is the outermost outcropping in the case. The distance across the wrist is only 46.4 millimeters, which is only about 2 millimeters more than a 36 millimeter Datejust. Now, in terms of thickness, it is a chunky little watch at 16.1 millimeters thick, but it sits easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist because it is so narrow. You can see the edge of the watch comes nowhere near the edge of my wrist. So even if you have a tiny wrist, I recommend giving it a try. It's not going to fit underneath a tight dress cuff, but even on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeter circumference, you might be able to pull this off. Of course, sapphire and titanium are super light, so the watch wears that way on the wrist. Taking a quick look at the strap, you can see it is a good-looking combination of a suede material on the bottom, and then it has what I believe to be an embossed leather on the top. So the watch has bolstered strap to give it a little bit of thickness and volume as it approaches the case, and we have a Grubel 4C double deployant matching titanium clasp, twin trigger release, and you can see in profile there is a little bit of evacuation of the buckle. As you can see, there's a media blasted center, and then along its edge it's satinated, and then along its top, it's polished. And this is very similar to the treatment applied to the flank of the case, but also to the bridges on the reverse side of the movement as they feature a combination of mirrored anglage, polished channels on the side, and then frosting on the center. Taking a quick look, by the way, I should mention that with twin trigger release, this is going to stay shut. It's going to offer security so that this rather large and expensive watch doesn't go flying off your wrist. Again, twin trigger release, not friction fit. And double fold, double fold tends to be less likely to pinch a smaller wrist. You have that wonderfully suede Alcantara style material on the bottom. The case flank is evacuated. We have bolts on the flank showing the assembly of the watch, which is kind of techno-industrial cool. It's designed to be a machine uh, that that has been brought from the inside out so you can appreciate it structurally as well as mechanically. You can see we have a Grubel 4C crown with knurling and polish as well as satination. The bezel has a little satin lip outboard and it flows in an almost fluid fashion as though it were molten and melting across the surface of the watch. So you have that wonderful convex shape to the bezel. It's polished on its largest facet and then its very outermost face is satinated and so is the face that abuts the sapphire. You can see it's actually satinated across adjacent to the sapphire. The sapphire has a wonderfully dramatic camber to it, which is not cheap or easy to achieve in a 100 meter water resistant watch. Now the movement is a manual wind with a 72 hour power reserve. We have twin stacked barrels here. You can easily see them moving as you wind the watch. We have a power reserve indicator up to 72 hours visible. You can see on the half bridge for the hands, the motion works or the little gears that drive the hand completely visible. And I should mention that this watch has larger hour indices than the original Balancier Sport. So you will notice that in the dark, it's a lot easier to read. You can also see that it, there is a little brushed metallic track that allows you to more precisely read minutes. And if you look very carefully, you can see the interior bezel is mirror polished. So the attention to detail here is very strong. You have that convex sapphire, bezel, and then inner bezel. The base plate and bridges, they're made of grade five tie. There are two different versions. One is gray, one is this charcoal black. So they're making 88 pieces in this charcoal black, and they're gonna be doing that over four years in series of 22 per year. They're also going to make 64 with a gray dial, and again, they're going to break it up over four years. So that is how the series numbering for these work. Of course, Group of Force, making about 150 watches a year, would not make 88 examples of one model in a single annum. Getting a little bit closer. We'll take a look at that balance, which is enormous in sporting style. The bigger the balance, the higher the mass, the better it shakes off concussions and vibrations that would cause a smaller balance to deviate in timing. 
So generally, when you have a slower beat rate, and we do here at 21,600 vibrations per hour, you want to make the balance bigger, and that's what Grubel Forzi does. The bolts are recessed to create aerodynamic properties, reducing the drag on the balance as it oscillates. And of course, you move those bolts in or out to change the timing. This is a rugged, free-sprung, sports watch style balance. So all the timing is done with those bolts rather than a mobile stud index. You can also see the use of an overcoil hairspring, which allows concentric breathing of the hairspring in any position, which helps to even out or at least minimize the effect of gravity on the watch. Now you have a small second sub-register and you can see that the bridges are frosted using a wire brush and then there are also polished facets that you can see occasionally mirrored and polished that catch the light. On the reverse side you'll note that the watch is 1 of 88 and we have bridges that are made of titanium here. They're frosted and blackened in their center. They're black polished on their outer edge and then if you look at their outermost face they've been rounded and beveled. You can see that we have a number of sharp interior angles where bevels meet, so you haven't been shorted the fine finish here, even though this is one of the more basic watches, one of the most basic watches that Grubel Forsey offers. We have golden chiton fixing the pivot jewels. This is a nod to the pocket watch era when jewels would be set in precision chiton and then those would be pressed into the bridges. It's not technically necessary today as manufacturing tolerances have improved, but it is a wonderful nostalgic touch and it is quite beautiful. You can see even the tips of the pivots of these wheels in the barrel arbor have been black polished on their end. All of the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. The wheels are satinated on their tops and they're beveled internally, which is attention to detail that you rarely see on even truly high-end watches, even Geneva Hallmark watches. So this is a watch that has a lot to offer. This could very well be your all-the-time Grubel Forcey. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.